These have been cleared and safety checked, so as far as you know, they're safe. I have an astigmatism. Uh, these are my glasses. And I've heard other people that I know who have astigmatisms say that they don't like red dots because of the starburst effect that you get with the dot. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about them. Um, I only have a few, and these are all range guns. Um, I have two that are red. Uh, one's a Sig Zero. One's a Swamp Fox Justice. One's a uh, green dot. I've got the Swamp Fox Liberty. And these are both Gen 1, so they're a little bit smaller than the Gen 2. And the, I've got a blue dot. It's the ADE Trumpet. And I had, I've, I saw somebody say that it's supposed to be better for someone with astigmatism, so I thought I'd try it. It's a budget model. And I've also heard that for green dots. So I just picked this up and I thought um, it'd give me a chance to kind of compare them. I do have red dots for rifles. Um, and I'll talk about those in a little bit. It's a, there's a little bit of a difference here. And with the three colors on these ones, I'll show what the camera sees, what I see with my glasses, and then what I see without my glasses. This is the red dot with the glasses, without the glasses. The blue dot with glasses, without glasses. And the green dot with the glasses and without. Um, and it's kind of hard to show exactly what my eyes see, but these are kind of a representation of, of what I see. Usually there's a little more streaking in the light. I'm a little more starburst to it, but it's kind of hard to draw that. But that'll give you a good enough idea of kind of what I'm seeing. And there are different kinds of astigmatisms, so everybody's a little bit different. But this is this is how my astigmatism affects how I see these. So if we look at the red dot uh, while I'm talking, there is, it does kind of blob out and there's a star bursting. But if you put the larger part of the blob, you're going to hit the target even though there's a lot of extra visual noise going on. Um, you're still going to hit it. You might not put every shot through the same hole, but if you're target shooting, to me, I'm happy with that. You know, if you're going to shoot steel, you're going to hit the steel. Now with the red, I get the most star bursting, um, the most flaring. With the blue, it's a little bit less, and with the green, has the least amount for me of that starburst effect. But if I compare the red and the green, the center light is about the same size. It's just the that light noise, there's there's more in the red. And it's also affected by the brightness setting. Um, these were all all these pictures were taken with the medium, so kind of right in the middle. By dropping the brightness down, um, it does reduce that flaring effect. Um, turning it up brighter increases that quite a bit um, when it's on the brightest setting. And I had mentioned the dots for the rifles. When I'm using these, I get a lot less of that lens flare effect. That's because it's closer to my eye. If you take a red dot and you're holding it out your normal distance and you'll have the dot will have whatever shape it looks like according to your eye and as you bring it in at least for me it tightens back into a dot um, of course you're not going to shoot it that close but with the rifles you are that dot is closer to your eye so I have a lot less problem with star bursting and the, the flaring effect. And I've also heard that the holographic sights are supposed to be really good 
for astigmatisms, but they're expensive and I don't want to spend that much. So I stick to the reflex sites, which are the cheaper, but more affordable. And with the red dots, there is a slight difference when I'm looking at them between like the SIG and the Swamp Facts. The SIG, the dot is a little more distorted than with the Swamp Fox. And I'm not sure if that's has to do with the glass or the laser that projects the dot or what. That's just something that I noticed. It's not a huge difference. And again, as long as you put, as long as I put the blob on target, it's going to hit the target. But I don't know, it's just kind of a rambly video. But I just wanted to go through, because if you've ever thought about a red dot and you have an astigmatism or, you know, green dot or blue dot or whatever, uh, don't be afraid to try it. Um, you can kind of learn how to use it, even with that, that flaring and that extra noise. Um, Especially if it's just going to be for the range. They do, when you have them sighted in and you're used to them, because it can take, it takes a little bit of getting used to, because when you bring it up, uh, you're probably going to find you don't see the dot. It's just how you're addressing your sight. And that takes a little bit of getting used to. That's one of the reasons I don't want to use it for my carry guns. Um, I don't want the extra bulk and I just prefer it to be dead simple, bring it up, iron sights, you know, but once you have these sighted in, they make it really easy to hit your target. If you wanted to try a dot and you have an astigmatism, so you didn't, didn't think you could use it, uh, you can it just takes kind of getting used to what you're looking at and how to use that. And if you have an astigmatism and you have red dots, what's your experience? Uh, leave a comment. Let me know.